watu vibaya sana See. because you know the unfortunate thing is when you are young and uh, you are sitting across maybe a pastor or someone who you you respect you expect them to have more lived experience than you and you basically surrender your decision making to them you know basically guys do what they told wana mnaambia fungueni joint account uh ile pesa yote wewe utapata you must show her your pay slip uh make sure you communicate never go to bed with a conflict wanasemaga hivyo eh ati msilale kama mmekasirikiana kwani ivai kwa hivyo kwani ivai kwa hivyo watu wanafaa ingia kwa kitanda kwa kisirikia even your own boss mnakosa nada na mnaenda bila kuongea there are some things eh yeah oh there is no ati mtasema sasa ni saa kulala lakini ile nini the way you cheated on me last week hiyo kitu lazima tu solve kwanza there are some things you cannot solve but see, solve like those are things that people are told in premarital counseling sessions mm. that don't even make sense so um it's glad it's good that guy has said that and that's why we are writing books mm. we are having mm. nowadays at least uh, it is not the case that uh, you must be told by a pastor what happens in marriages a lot of books are being written masculinity is now a big thing even in the internet because uh, marriage as an institution actually is dying away uh, women because of being empowered uh, they are now showing you female nature in an unfettered fashion they don't need to hide anything in fact nowadays women say they don't need men and so on and so forth so as a man you have to educate yourself be responsible for your life and uh, be in a position where if anything happens in your life you can take responsibility actually that's what being a man is so that you can't say at the pastor is mislead that one you are not a child the pastor should not mislead you you should be able to take responsibility for what happens uh, in your life in fact i'll just add to that you know um, because definitely there is a problem and that's what we are trying to solve here there is a problem with that premarital uh, counseling part genocentrism you know some pastors are just simps so they show you how to be a simp you know they recruit you to be a simp to your woman and they know you know maybe it works with them with their wives but with yours your woman is different you know and unfortunately now it's up to you as a man when you hear some things that someone tells you say no 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 that one i would do you know uh, i'm not willing to do that and that means you also have you have to have a lot of self awareness as you as a man to understand what you want in your life with, with away from your wife and everyone else what do you want what do you want to achieve what is your vision if you can put those things together and you know even if you sit in front of a pastor i think i've done it before sit in front of a pastor and the guy says something say no 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 i i don't do things like that and he says no but you need to i tell him no it is my life it is my marriage you if you did it like that it worked for you it didn't work for me i i don't think it worked for me and have that discussion with them uh it is a problem that a lot of men right now are facing because Yes the church has already you know religion right now is really focusing so much on the woman you know everything is about the woman the home is for the woman everything is for the woman no the the man has there's not almost nothing that the man is put at the forefront to lead you know everything is put almost on the woman but you as a man has to understand even even the young guys now are coming into in fact there's no absolutely no excuse in our time pro-